What's going on, folks in the G-verse? Just giving you a quick, quick announcement on the next upcoming webinar. Ebooks: the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's going to be one of the most uh, expansive modules in the Hustlers University. This is paid training, just letting you know. The last free webinar was last week. So this jumps off Monday. Now, what do I mean about ebooks: the good, the bad, the ugly? That's how I got my start. I uh, started selling my first ebook for $19.95 here. Originally, it was on my blog, The Urban Pack Rat, which no longer exists. And now I moved up to audiobooks. I still have ebooks, but uh, my whole process is just totally different than everyone else's. But I will tell you this. First 14 months selling ebooks, 2009 to early 2010. Well, mid 2009 to, I guess, the fall of 2010. My first 14 months, I made $62,000 selling one ebook. And to give you some perspective so you can compare and contrast, there's a lot of published book authors, people that you've seen their book in bookstores, they didn't make $62,000 ever from their book based upon the uh, distribution of profits that happens to an author and just to you know really really quick imagine a pie chart in your mind take half of it 50 percent it's gone that goes to the retailer because they're buying the book at wholesale so that leaves you right another 50 percent nope wrong take 27 percent that goes to the publisher at least 23 percent for you right nope no it doesn't then you have an attorney and an agent and that's going to take off seven percent so you might net out <laughs> at around uh, 12 to 17 percent. And if it goes to mass market paperback, you're going to even make less. That's why a lot of writers don't make money because they wholesale their book to other people and other folks have to get the experience to mark up. So there are people that you've seen that their books in the bookstores. They didn't make $62,000 unless they got a really nice advance, which is going the way of the dodo bird. So if you are a writer, a creative person, I will tell you from experience, put your own shit out. Do not wait for permission from some gatekeeper. Do not wait for permission from someone to anoint you to put your stuff out. Because I put my first book out, which was a PDF file. It wasn't even in Mobi or EPUB. And Mobi's what Amazon Kindle use. And I made a livable income of my first ebook because I did all the marketing, the, the publishing. I did all the heavy lifting. And a lot of writers, and I'm going to tell you this, and if you're a writer, you're going to be very insulted. Writing the book is the easy part compared to the marketing of the book. Yes, writing the book is the easy part compared to the marketing. You don't make any money without the marketing and the promotion or other people advocating your book. And with uh, ebooks, the good, the bad, the ugly, because there's going to be a series of training videos on how to put together an ebook, how to find your market, what's the best way to go, how to test your book. Uh, do you need to spend a lot of money on the book cover or not? Because there's a great debate on that. And book covers help you, but. If you're doing your own marketing, and I'm going to teach you that, and if you have your own email list, I'm going to teach you that. It's a different ball game because, I'll, and I'll tell you what books out there will help you with your ebook business. I will tell you what books to stay the hell away from because uh, I've bought a lot, I've read a lot, and essentially, a lot of them. I'm not going to say they're worthless. I'm just going to say that typically someone has some success. And they didn't really know why they had success. And they wrote a book on why they had success. And the book will not help you because there was another factor in their success that they didn't mention, didn't know about. That's happened a lot because, you know, just really quickly, if you put a book into Amazon's Kindle or you put a print book on the Amazon, Amazon is its own ecosystem. It has its, It's like the Matrix. Amazon is like the Matrix. It has its own set of rules that doesn't really apply to Google and other things. And that's something you should be really, really aware of if you're selling your book on Kindle. There's a lot of things that go on that can make your book go up or go down. But if you are a disruptive hustler and you've built your own tribe, you can influence that ecosystem in a major, major way. And um, there's people, internet marketers, who figured it out and they're selling and making more money than someone with a uh, MFA and creative writing. And I'm telling you, it's... The business people are getting it, and that's what 
ebooks, the good, the bad, and the ugly is going to be about. It's going to be about the business of writing an ebook and about making money. Um, during the course, I'll be able to tell you if you know you come up with a book idea, I'll tell you if it sucks. Just because you have a great book idea does not mean the marketplace wants it. And that's where the money comes in. I'm not saying don't write that book, but if you write it, don't expect to get paid. Because the marketplace is like, that shit sucks. I don't want it. Give me some vampires. Give me some Fifty Shades to spank my ass. Give me some uh, Who Moved My Cheese. Give me some of the chicken soup of the soul. There are proven marketing, there's proven genres that do quite well. And if you put a book in that genre that's appropriately addressed for the people who want that type of book, you will make money. If you avoid this stuff and it's like, I'm just going to write a book because I got a book in me. There's a book in my heart. It's right there. It wants to come out. I'm going to put it out there because the Lord told me to put it out there. And then you spend a year or two writing your book and it goes nowhere. And all of a sudden you're pissed off. You are boo-boo the fool because you were a dumbass for ignoring the information that's out here. And another thing about uh, writing books and putting your stuff out there. There's... You don't have to write a book anymore. And this is a lot of writers are going to be like, no, 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 no. Uh, there's techniques where you can hire someone to write your book in the Philippines and you put it up there. Now, you're going to need a little coin to make that happen. I mean, if you're broke, it's not going to happen. I choose to write my own books because I enjoy the writing process. I enjoy messing around with words. It's fun. I have to do it. That's why I make so many damn videos. I just have to get this stuff out. And my first writing group, they called me... Uh, prolific i didn't i was like i'm just putting stuff out and someone else said that the other day it's like you know just all these videos and all of these blogs and all of these books i just put stuff out because i enjoy it this is fun to me for many people writing is about the same as getting slapped but i'll teach you some techniques because one quick thing and i learned this from dean wesley smith he's a really cool guy he's one of the guys that i reached out early he talked to me Writing the book's a process. Many people want to give you that it's mythical, you know, these wonderful things happen. No. Writing a book is sitting your ass in a chair and banging on the keyboard until X amount of words are on the screen. Then doing it the day after, and the day after, and the day after, and the day after, and the day. That's writing a fucking book. That's what it takes to write a fucking book. Not the muse from Mor Matabato or, you know, Mr. or Tattoo or some of the No, no. It's discipline. Writing a book is about discipline. I'll teach you a really quick technique that you can actually write more than you think you can write. And it'll blow your freaking mind. Because everyone's like, I'm not a writer. I'm not. No, 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 no. And I also teach you how you can take some intrinsic or esoteric knowledge that you have and turn that into an ebook. There's so many ways that you can make money with an ebook. But the big thing is finding your tribe, finding your genre, finding your marketplace first before you write the book. That's the big thing. And I'll teach you that. So if you want to be part of you know, how to create digital products because the ebooks is just one thing. Uh, I'm going to do videos. I'm going to teach people how to do podcasts. There, there's so many parts and it, this is really, really exciting that's going on in this space that that's going to be part of, that's going to be for the next 30 days just talking about that stuff. And it's going to be a lot of information. I should say if you are already swamped or you're in school part time or you got 18.9 jobs, this may not be for you. Um, and it's actually exceptionally cheap for what you're getting because if you join Hustle University for 99 freaking bucks a month, it will be 150 after 20th. And you know, ask Ed Edwards, <laughs> and, uh, not Ed Edwards, yeah, that's actually Ed Edwards in the group, but ask Ed Evans, I will raise the price on your ass in a heartbeat. Remember, the ebook, the first one started at 1995. I will also teach you how to create value. There's everyone else is trying to do this race to the bottom bullshit. It's a book. It should be two ninety nine. Uh, there's a guy who wrote a storage auction book long after the train had left the station and went up the mountain, and the eagles were flying over the canyon, and put it up real cheap. And that bitch ain't selling because he missed the boat. And it's like I'll teach Grind, you know, give Grindon Kelly a run for the money. I can say unequivocally, I made more money selling storage auction, ebooks, audiobooks than anybody else on the net, anybody else in the freaking world. Because I know it was my business and I researched that shit and I watched other guys. And uh, hands down. So that's something to tell you. If I can do this for me, think what I can do for you. Because the thing is, if anyone's trying to tell you um, 
hey, I can teach you how to do this. And their apartment or house looks like, you know, rats live there or roaches are running around going, we own this place. We own this place. Uh, that may not be a good source for you, but, you know, <laughs> it's your money. You can do whatever the hell you want to with it. So that's the deal. That's what happens. It kicks off Monday. January the 20th, that's when it kicks off, so 6 p.m., and there, there will be a ton of stuff. You will also be not in the Facebook group. Everyone is moving to my online platform, the, the Hustlers Mindset Project, and it's going to be a part of Hustlers U. So just letting you know what's going down. If you want to be part of it, this is your chance to get in. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you on the good side.